Hi, I'm Cindy Kruger and today I'm going to show you how to capture your petty cash in Legal Suite. Firstly, petty cash is a small amount of cash on hand that's used to pay small amounts owed rather than writing a check or doing an electronic payment. Legal Suite allows you to process all the transactions related to your petty cash account and at any stage if you capture your transactions correctly the balance showing in your petty cash account in your business ledger should equal all the cash and unprocessed vouchers in your petty cash tin. Firstly I'm going to show you how to capture your petty cash payments. That's money that's paid out of your petty cash. These are referred to as petty cash payments. In Legal Suite, the petty cash transactions are captured under the payments tab. So we first go to our batches screen. We click on our payments tab and you'll see that it has trust payment, business payment and petty cash. Now remember we're capturing the petty cash transaction, so the money coming out of your petty cash tin. So you click on petty cash. By type you have three options. You have matter, creditor and business. Matter is when you're paying something on behalf of a matter out of your petty cash tin. You'll select it here and the matter will automatically be debited with that amount. The second option is the creditor. This is if you're paying money out to a creditor, a small amount. So say for example, Waltons comes and delivers a hundred rands worth of stationery. You can then pay that money directly out of your petty cash tin to the creditor. And the third option is your business. So this is like business expenses such as postage and petties or refreshments for the office, whatever the case may be. So we, in this example, we're going to choose business and we're going to drop down here and we're going to select the account that we're paying the money on behalf of. So in this instance I'm going to choose postage and petties and the description defaults to payment. You can say payment for postage and then we fill in the amount. In my example I'm going to use 15 Rand. What's also nice when capturing transactions, say it's a rounded figure, you can just put in the 15 and the moment you go to your next block, Legal Suite will automatically put full in the 00, zero after the decimal. Then we have the VAT, VAT that's on this transaction. So you can do 1 to 14% or no VAT, VAT exempt or zero rated. In my example, no VAT. And this bank account, this is where is the money coming out of. So which account will be credited? In this instance, it's the petty cash because we're capturing petty cash transactions. Then it asks for a voucher. So this is if you use vouchers in your petty cash tin. You can then fill in the voucher number. But in my example, I'm going to fill in the date. And then your payee, what this does is it automatically copies which ledger account you chose at the top here. So it says postage and petties. You are able to change the description here if you, if you wish. Once you've captured the transaction, you click on OK. And you'll see that it says records added one. You are now able to go and capture more transactions now. But if you're happy and you're finished with your transactions, you simply click on cancel and you'll see that the petty cash batch has now been created. You then can go and print it if you want a hard copy of the batch or you click on post. In our example, we're going to post it and we say OK. And now the batch has gone through and your petty cash has been updated. The next step is depositing money into your petty cash account. So that's money paid in and is referred to as petty cash deposits. In Legal Suite, money drawn out of your bank account for petty cash are captured as business payments under the Payments tab. So we're here under the Payments tab and our second option is a business payment. The type is business because remember petty cash is an account in your general ledger. You'll then drop down and you'll select the petty cash account because that's where the money is going into. And payment, you can put your description in. I'm going to say for petty cash. and then you fill in the amount, I'm going to say 500. Once again, if there's nothing after the decimal place, you put that and Legal Suite will automatically fill it in for you. The bottom section is now where is the money coming out of? So this is where you'll select your bank account. Some firms have more than one bank account, so you need to select which is your bank account that that money is coming out of. And then you say what type is it? How are you paying that money? And we're gonna say check. 
and you're going to put in the check number or you can click on automatic and it will take automatically the next check number in your bank account. Payee, once again it copies your account at the top so you can change a payee and you say OK. Once again it says records added one. You can now go and capture more transactions if you need to or you can say cancel. Now we're going to post the batch and now the batch has now gone through to your ledger accounts and everything has been updated. Our next step is to reconcile our petty cash transactions. To do that you go to the business ledger which is your third icon and in this screen you go to the third icon again which is your bank reconciliation option. Now when we drop down here this is where you select which account you're going to be reconciling. So we are reconciling our petty cash account, so you drop down and say petty cash. We count all the money that's sitting in our petty cash account and by the ending balance we're going to put in. So we're going to say 485 Rand and you'll see that there's a difference. That's because we haven't reconciled our transactions yet. We need to reconcile those transactions and hopefully then our ending balance will equal to what we physically got in our petty cash account. So 15 Rand went out of our petty cash account and 500 Rand went into our petty cash account. And you can now see that the ending, the difference is zero, meaning that our actual physical cash in our petty cash tin equals to what's in legal suite. Your next step is to reconcile and clear these transactions because you don't want these transactions to just keep adding and adding and adding and adding. You can reconcile on a daily basis or a monthly basis. It's completely up to you. But we're going to go to this icon here, which you allocate to a bank statement. Now you can put in the bank statement number. I always suggest putting in the month and the year that you're reconciling for. So our example, I'll say January 2018. That allows you at any stage to go back and filter your bank recon and you can then view the transactions. So we say OK and it says transactions allocated and those transactions disappear off your screen making the next time you reconcile easier to do. And that's how you process your petty cash in LegalSuite.